We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today on to week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Miami Dolphins. And the buys are over. It's now a four-week sprint to the finish, and we are underway here in week 15. This fielded right at the goal line. They were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on a tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 and ended at the other. You talk about this Miami defense. They're trying to cover up some holes in the secondary. Right now, bottom five in the league against the pass at number 28. Defending the pass has not been one of their strong suits throughout the season, but they have any hopes of making waves in January. They've got to improve in this area. They'll run with Hall. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Now a second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. It's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got that to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Throw. And Lazard's got it again. And he will be very close. 
close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Interesting decision here. Opening drive, Charles, fourth and short. You're in field goal range. We'll see what they do. I just shake a fist at my offense and say, go get it, guys, because if you can't pick up fourth and short here, we're probably in trouble the rest of the game. Show some confidence. Show some aggressiveness. Go pick it up. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Mahomes takes it himself. I think in this situation, all you want to do is make sure your guys are set up front. No one jumps, no penalties. Sometimes we even call cadence, just go and pick it up. Yeah, because it's on them. I mean, the quarterback's job's pretty easy there. It really is. You talk about inches, just go get it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. now to throw. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. When you talk about this Miami defense, they're trying to cover up some holes in the secondary. Right now, bottom five in the league against the pass at number 28. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get on a roll early. Chip away at their timing. Second and ten. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down of the 32. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. this to the 24 on third down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Blitz coming and down he goes. Jalen Phillips in there to get him and on the season now that is nine sacks for him. Uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now a three-point swing right there. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and ten at the 20. And this drive will begin with a run from A-Chain. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. These two teams getting a couple of late season tilts this year. Their first meeting was not too long ago. Back in week 12, and it was the Dolphins with a road victory, so they'll look for the sweep now here in Miami. Right back to A-Chain on second down. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll run for it with A.J. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. We're scoreless after one.
from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. A chain on the counter. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. The Dolphins hit 12-1 and one now to start play. And they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. On second down, a run by H.A. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now a third and six. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. And this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Back deep for the Jets, McCole Hardman. Fielded just inside the 20. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This one looks equally as good. And take it right on the 30. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And, of course, this a critical game in regards to not just the division race, but playoff seeding as well. They are a game up, but a loss here could really muddy the waters. And both of these teams want to clear things up about how they feel about each other and their standing in the league because these two teams, they've really been the cream of the crop in their division. So this game, it's been looming on both of their schedules. All right, come on. Second and six. 
Tua going to throw. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. John Franklin Myers forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Matt Arisen now on to punt this one away. Hardman on the return. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Jets will take over. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. Mahomes now on first down. This pass out wide to home. And he's got this down to the 35. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Mahomes. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Mahomes will try again on second down. Very quickly here, and that's complete. Now get him to the ground at the 20, following a pick up of four. Timing is so important on a look like this because he's going to run up right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. So here's Greg Zerline now as he'll try for the field goal. From the left half, just a 32-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both of these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Throw caught by Ochi. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Going to the air, Tugamailoa. They set up the screen to Ochi. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Play action. Now it's Tua. This pass caught by Hamler. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Two and a throw again. will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. On second down, Tua. It is intercepted at the goal line. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Jets are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to lose yardage. Not that it matters as the final seconds tick away. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And these offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively virtually. And that's caught inside the 30. And the way in from the Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes it a 7 3 lead. The York ready, and here we go as 
as he sends this one away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hand. He's got a man complete. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. Touchdown. Garrett Wilson, 81 yards. And the Jets have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now two are going to change the play. Right back to A-Chain on second down. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Wolf in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Tua now on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Of the gun here's a give to A chain and he stopped immediately there and they're going to hurry back to the line now looking to pass to him the pressure gets there and two is going to be taken down Quinnen Williams in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Here's Hardman to return. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return and it will be first and ten as they take over the New York offense taking over for their next possession 
Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. They'll start on the ground. Hall, and not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. On play action, it's Mahomes. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Second down and eight. Eight chain here. They stay on the ground. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. That is caught. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Now it's A-chain headed right. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Oftentimes, we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Now Tua. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Jets will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The end result, 21 yards. On first and 10, it's Hall down to about the 45. It's a gain of three on what will be the final play of this third quarter. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week four. Here's second and seven. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. And this is caught. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Jets are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Oh, and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by D.J. Reed. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. Well, well, so here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback, are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, folks, just driving a lot of confidence after their last one. They gave up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. This offense so far on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. They go play fake. Mahomes. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Giving credit for excellent coverage. Tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. And finally, we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted and calm things. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the Jets are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. 
Throwing now is Mahomes. Locates Hardman for another catch. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Hall on a give up the middle. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there. But of course you're going to give it to him. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This is really impressive because when the offenses are running RPOs, things move very quickly. Fake. Ball's out of his hands, and they're trying to hit him in the gaps downfield. And instead, the defender reacts so well that he makes a play on it, and the ball falls incomplete. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here's Mahomes to throw, and it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And it'll be a turnover on downs. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Martin Emerson. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. now on first down. Got a man, that's Lazard. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He gets it underneath to Hall. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Now here's Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now Mahomes. 
He's Ken Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Jets stretch this fourth quarter lead even further, and they are closing in on win number 12 of the season. Zerline now for the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they got to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. And now here's another interception. Adrian Amos with a pick, and he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two. We got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play there for Miami. 58 yards. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. A-Chain gets it from the gun. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now this likely a must-have third and goal. A Jade will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. York now for the extra point. He's got it in the scores now, 27-14. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. 
So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. Jets are going to get this one, and that might be all she wrote. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. going to throw it here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about right a finish to this one. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory.